We're at NAMM 2018 here in the Sennheiser Neumann booth. Yeah. And we're talking with Brian Walker. Nice to see you. Thank you. Now, you might be familiar with a TLM 103 or a U87 with a Neumann, but you guys are reintroducing another classic, the U67. Tell us yes. about it. Well, this is a reproduction, not a reproduction, it is the original. Uh, from the uh, U67 that was originally built from 1960 to 1971. And we're bringing it back. It starts shipping in the middle of February. Um, the uh, capsule is the original. The tube is the original. The output transformer is the original. So everything inside this microphone is original to the microphone when it was built. The original specs when yes. it was built and designed. And yeah, because if it if it wasn't truly a U67, we couldn't call it a U67. Our customers would just have all sorts of interesting pieces of vocabulary for us. Right. You didn't like <laughs> ship this out to some some place where they built the stuff cheap and no. try to reduce cost and increase profit. You yeah. Stay true to your to your, your roots is, on this. It is built in our factory in Germany. Yeah. Yeah. What makes this mic so special? This microphone has an amazing sound to it. It's a very, um, it really was the microphone of the 60s. Um, not as much of a high-end bump, not as big of an EQ curve as the uh, 87 has. The 87 can be a little bit of a bright microphone. This one's not quite so bright, but it still has that brightness to help your voice cut through the mix. And then that tube and that big fat transformer in it has a big, warm, low-end sound. Right. It, it, tell me a little bit more about what it is. You know, a lot of people like the idea of having a tube in a microphone. What does it do specifically for a Neumann mic as opposed to some of the fake kind of tube stuff that we see out there with red LEDs in them and stuff? Very little. <laughs> Seriously. The, the tube exists inside this microphone as an impedance match between a very, very extremely high impedance um, capsule and a very low impedance output. And the tube is that impedance match. And a lot of people put a lot of weight on the tube in the microphone, but it's actually the output transformer that colors the sound the most. Right. But if a tube goes on one of these things... You're going to know it. You're going to know about it. <laughs> you're going to know yeah. about it. What yeah. are some of the other features? Is it multi-pattern? It's multi-pattern. Multi um, it has uh, Omni, Figure 8, and cardioid patterns. It has a 10 dB pad switch you can add in. Always very and nice. And it has a, a low-frequency roll-off. Roll-off. So if you've got a lot of low-frequency hum from your air conditioner in your studio, Trucks you can roll by and yeah, that sort of thing. I, you can roll it out. The, the, so this this is really a full-featured microphone that, yes. that that does everything you would need to for voiceover. Yes. Okay. What's the price point on one of these? High. Okay. <laughs> uh, you, seven seven thousand. Seven thousand is street price. Okay. Yeah, but that's a full kit. Right. That's the microphone, the suspension kit, the power supply. Everything. Very good. And all of the parts in the new kit are interchangeable with all the old parts. So if you have an old microphone, you can plug it into the new power you supply. You can go into the old, the you know, the microphone junkyard and pick yeah. them up, and it'll all still work in there. Yes, that's very nice. Is uh, Neumann going to be coming up with anything else uh, that they're ready to announce, or something coming up in the next couple of years? Or? Not that I know of. Okay. Well, although knowing Wolfgang Fresene, I'm sure that there are a number of things cooking in the back of his head right now, and but he hasn't told me. <laughs> right. Well, this is a legendary mic, and yes. you know, and certainly if you have a budget for that, this is a great one to have. Brian, thank you so much for talking thank to you. us. Thank you. Enjoy the show. All righty.